Hi, welcome to Oakwood Amster. Today I'll be viewing my Insignia 5 cubic feet chest freezer. I originally purchased this July 2018. At the time, I just made a short video. I mentioned I'll make a review sometime later. Currently, it's September 2020, so two years have passed. A little over two years. I got this from Best Buy for $100. It was on sale back then. I waited till it was on sale to purchase it. But lately, because of the pandemic, the five cubic feet one is between 150 to 200 dollars. A lot of folks have been purchasing chest freezers, and even at my local Best Buy, a lot of them are not. They don't have any stock. Overall, I don't have any serious complaints about this. The size for my family needs it's enough five cubic feet. They do sell it in larger sizes. They cost a little bit more. I think the, they sell 10 cubic feet ones, but we needed something that we can easily move in and out of the garage whenever we're, for whenever we need to clean it. And two years have passed. Now I need to clean it. For the past couple of years, I never had a frost problem on the inside. I've only started noticing this in the past month. Also in the past month, we had two major power outages. There's always been frost buildup on the outside like by the the cap, the little well for the door. But this was expected. They do mention this in their user manual, that if it's very hot outside, frost may build up on this, this crevice over here. I'm waiting for the water to drain a little bit more, or the ice to melt a little bit more before I uh, remove that plug on the bottom to drain the water out. The one on the outside, at least, I can easily remove it. I had a analog thermometer inside. I'm not sure where it is now. Maybe we just moved it when we were cleaning, moving the items from this freezer to another freezer. But we kept everything at zero degrees Fahrenheit. There is no digital thermometer. That's why I got the analog thermometer. For the analog thermostat, I keep it here. It's not in the middle between minimum and maximum. It's a little more towards the minimum side. The unit is fairly quiet, even when it's operating. It's, it, it, I don't hear it shaking. I, I don't hear any abnormal noises. Um, it's, it's not completely silent. I still hear it, but it's not enough to give me a, a reason to be concerned about it. We have storms that brought down trees in my neighborhood, on my street. And my house made the uh, the logo police blotter because of the, uh, the trees that came down. It took a few days for the power to come back. That was the first storm. The second storm, same thing. We lost power for a little over 24 hours. Uh, I think it was, it was also about two days. So within two days, the food in here was still kept frozen. But I believe that was the cause of the, the frost. The sooner I clean this, the sooner I clean this this back into operation. Things melted enough. Let me just roll this drain. I'm just turning it counterclockwise here. Okay. side over here so that would just drain out peacefully this was the drain plug that was on the inside this is the plug on the outside still ice in there it should melt in a couple of minutes in this heat about two hours have passed and now inside is all cleaned no more ice I've took a paper towel to wipe the clean on the inside, as well as the outside on the sides over here, along the seal, this rubber seal. For that valve over there, there was some ice buildup in there, but since I left it outside in about five to 10 minutes, that defrosted and all the remaining liquid just start coming out, dripping out of that port over there. 
we're obviously using moving straps. It's not heavy at all, but just that uh, the moving straps do help. I'm going to put this back in the garage, power it up, and let it run overnight before I start putting food back in there. For $100, I do think this is well worth it. Even if this was not on sale, if this was being sold for $150, I still think it's well worth it. And when we lost the power outage, when we had the power outage and lost power to the chest freezer, the food in here stayed frozen. The frost buildup came after the power outage. People still had to open it, still had to get the items out. Whenever uh, we had to cook something, still need to. And I think that's what led to the frost buildup. Aside from that, there's no complaints about this. I would recommend this. Even though the, th um, the thermostat is analog, not a big deal. The part I, want, I wanted the most was that drain port, drain valve over there. I hope you found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.